Everybody, it's Dr. Eric Balkavage. We're back for another edition of Thyroid Thursday. And in today's episode of Thyroid Thursday, I want to talk about the vitamin D magnesium paradox. So right now on the blogs, there's so many people talking about how you need to increase your vitamin D, vitamin D deficiency. It's winter. Nobody's getting sufficient levels of vitamin D and they need to keep taking the stuff. The problem is, and what people aren't talking about on these blogs is that vitamin D doesn't work without sufficient levels of magnesium. Every step in the conversion of vitamin D to an active form of vitamin D, 125 OHD, which is the active form, and all the metabolism of vitamin D requires magnesium. And so we t I talked about 2D or not to D, whether you should be taking vitamin D to begin with. You have to test three things to determine if you have a vitamin D deficiency. You have to test RBC magnesium, 25 OHD, and 125 OHD. Doctors make the mistake of only testing 25 OHD, and if it's low, assume that you're deficient. The problem with that thinking is, if you have type, some type of chronic inflammation or infection, the body dramatically increases 25 to 125 OHD. If your 125, 125 OHD is greater than your 25 OHD, you don't have a deficiency. You have, a, you have your 25 OHD upregulating to the 125D due to some type of stress and chronic inflammation, and you probably don't want to continue to take vitamin D in that situation. If 25 and 125 are both low, then you probably have a magnesium deficiency. So before you flood the system with more vitamin D, you need to check and see if you have a vitamin or a magnesium deficiency because you have to have sufficient magnesium to metabolize vitamin D. And if you don't have sufficient magnesium, you are going to pull it from other systems, essentially what we call magnesium steel. And that's going to result in more negative symptomatology. So before, please, before you start pounding your body with vitamin D because it's winter, be, make sure that you have three things tested. RBC magnesium, 25 OHD, and 125 OHD. You have to test all three things before supplementing with vitamin D. And please go back and watch the Thyroid Thursday videos on vitamin D and magnesium. Go back and watch uh, the Thyroid Answers podcast on 2D or not to D where I lay this all out on what you need before you start supplementing with vitamin D. Hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, put your questions below wherever you watch this video. And if you need any help, uh, definitely give us a call at the office for a thyroid consultation. All right, take care.